This is the installation video for Migration SE Height Adjustable Desk from Steelcase. Soon, you'll be ready to sit, stand, and move throughout your day. You can follow along with these steps in the assembly instructions where you will find additional tips for installing the different size desks. The assembly instructions will be found in the small electronics box along with your user and troubleshooting guides. Before you begin, clean the floor or workspace being used for assembly. We recommend using a piece of cardboard or blanket to protect the user side of the work surface. Confirm you have all the needed parts by laying them all out on the floor. For this installation, you will need a cordless drill, a number two Phillips drive, a five millimeter Allen wrench, safety glasses, and a level. Step one, unpack the leg lifting columns, short crossbar tubes, and cantilevers work surface supports. Align the short crossbar tubes with the holes on top of the leg. Hand tighten two M8 bolts closest to the cable coming out of the top of the legs first. Once those are tightened, add the cantilever to the outside of the leg column and add two more M8 bolts and tighten all four M8 bolts with a 5mm Allen wrench. When the first leg is built, set it aside. Step 2. Repeat this process for the other leg. Note, if your desk width is less than 52 inches wide, you may need to undo some of these M8 bolts. The front edge of the work surface can be identified by pilot holes near the edge for the user switch. Note, for T-legs, the leg assemblies aren't handed. For C-leg applications, place the larger portion of the cantilever towards the front edge of the desk. Once both leg assemblies are built, place assemblies on the work surface. Place both legs with the cross tubes facing inward towards the center of the desk. Step three, locate the two long crossbar channels. Insert the long channel into the short crossbar tubes. Note the open side of the long channel should be facing up when installing. Repeat this process on the other leg assembly. Slide the long channel into the cross tube and tighten the bolts. Notice you should see four silver threaded holes facing up. If this is not the case, you likely installed the short crossbar tubes upside down. Hand tighten all four bolts, but leave the screws loose. and tighten the bolts. Step four, locate the feet. Attach each foot to the bottom of the leg using the M6 cap screws using the five millimeter Allen key. Notice with the T leg, there is not front or back with the C-leg desk, the longer portion of the foot faces to the front edge of the desk. Loosen the glides once the feet are attached. Next, attach the four cable managers to the cross tubes. Notice these can be assembled both ways. We recommend assembling so that the logo is facing you during the installation. The cable management openings should open towards the center of the desk. Step 5. Now it's time to connect the base to the work surface. If 
your desk is larger than 52 inches wide, add the crossbar spacers between the work surface and crossbars. Use those holes to align the cantilevers on each side of the desk. Notice pre-drilled holes a few inches in from each side of the work surface. Once aligned, use the black, self-tapping work surface screws and begin screwing the base to the desk using the pre-drilled holes first. Then screw in the remaining spaces on the cantilevers. The screws are self-tapping and do not need additional pilot holes. Drive two additional screws into the center of the desk through the spacer and long crossbar channel. Once the base is attached to the work surface, tighten the M10 screws on the short cross tube sections from step three. Step six, take the control box out and place it between the cross tubes in the center of the work surface. Use the pilot holes to mount the control box using the self-tapping screws to the work surface. It's best to have the ports on the control box facing the same side you plan to mount the switch on. Step seven, plug both lifting column leg cords into ports M1 and M2. Plug the power cord into the desk, but don't plug it into an outlet yet. Warning, remove and secure the power cord when not in use to prevent children from operating the desk unsupervised. Step eight, attach the hand switch to the front edge of the work surface. Notice pilot holes are provided on both sides. Select which side to mount the switch. Reminder, the work surface is upside down. Use the pilot holes to attach the switch for using the two silver screws for the up-down switch or the black work surface screws for the four preset controller. Tighten carefully to ensure the switch is straight. Plug the controller cable into the box using the port labeled HS for handset. Step nine, cable management. Using the cable managers attached to the crossbar tubes, hook the extra cords around the cable clips. Next, secure the cord from the hand switch by screwing in the cable holder and routing the rest of the cable around the cable clips between the cross tubes. Use the white cable management clips to secure the access controller cord using the silver screws provided. Once the cables are managed to your liking, it's time to plug in the desk. Plug the desk into power. You will hear two clicks letting you know it was assembled correctly. Use the hand switch to confirm the desk is moving up and down. If the desk does not initially move, Hold the down button for 10 seconds to initialize the desk. The desk will give you a small up-down movement to let you know it's been initialized. Try again to adjust the desk both up and down. Before turning the desk over, make sure all of the screws are fastened tightly. It is now time to turn the desk over. With the help of a partner, flip the desk right side up to avoid damaging the controller. Use the glide to level the desk from side to side and front to back. Warning, if not set up properly, this product could cause serious injury due to pinch points between moving desks and other objects. Verify the height adjustment range is free from obstructions above and below the work surface within the range of travel. Always make sure there is a one inch minimum gap between all work surface edges and adjacent furniture or walls. Lastly, read the user guide for other safety related messages and tips on how to use your desk. Keep it and the troubleshooting guide in a safe place if ever a problem were to occur. To fully utilize the benefits of a height adjustable desk, we encourage you to sit, stand and move throughout the day. Because at Steelcase, we're inspired by the idea that your next posture is your best posture.